Good day, Pepper people. This is Red Griffin. Welcome to Grizzly Heat. Man, do I got a treat today. I don't know if it's a treat. We'll see. So, my good friend, he's another one. I don't know how good of a friend he is. No, he's my friend. Keith Nichols sent me this. He said, hey, I want to make this challenge, a hot challenge for people, and I want you to try it. Me being me, yeah, I'll try it. So then he tells me what it is. It's called the Egg of Agony. Look at this thing, guys. So I'm going to read you the ingredients. Egg of Agony ingredients. White chocolate, red reaper powder, yellow reaper powder, chocolate reaper powder, dried apocalypse scorpion pepper, Dried Big Bang Chocolate Naga Pepper, Cherry Reaper Tincture, and Peach Reaper Tincture. That's what's in this. No one has eaten this. I think they've tasted it. Keith said it was brutal, but no one's eating eaten the egg. Nathan Miller was supposed to do it. He didn't. So Keith said, I'm sending it to you. So what do I say? Ah, okay. Hold on a second, guys. I got it. Bugs me. There we go. Don't like the lean. Anyway, so this is the egg of agony. I guess I'm an officially um, a guinea pig for Keith Nichols. Well, you guys go check out Andrew's Pepper Patch. Um, great guys, Nathan Miller, Keith Nichols, um, they do fetch the fire, um, great page on YouTube and they sample stuff and try stuff. And, um, Keith is, he's legit. He grows a lot of peppers. He knows what's hot. Um, and he's just a great guy. He's a friend of mine. Might not be after I eat this egg, Keith. Yeah. Anyway, I said I would eat it. So, man of my word. I have no idea what I'm even getting into, guys. Let me grab a plate. No idea. I want to put this thing on the plate. I got that in the mail yesterday. I want to keep that for the ingredients. Hasn't left the frame of the camera. Uh, Keith said something about being able to cut it up, but I'm just going to eat it. The chocolate in it smells phenomenal, but I can smell heat. Yeah, I smell heat. Oh boy, the things I get myself into. Anyway, this is Red Griffin Grizzly Heat. This is that. This is from Andrews Pepper Patch and Keith Nichols. This is the Egg of Agony. Kind of reminds me of the Pit of Despair. Egg of Agony. You're gonna be a bear, be a grizzly. Stay spicy, people. That's immediately hot, guys. Wow. That's hot. Tastes great. That white chocolate's phenomenal. Look at the peppers in that. That's hot, guys.
heat level right now and I've eaten not quite half, probably about a two, but it feels like it's climbing. It's hot. I can feel the burn in my mouth. That comes from the powder. You like chocolate, you're gonna like it. Um, got more mouth burn than the Moab for sure. It's probably gonna be a big old gut bomb. I don't know if I was supposed to set a timer, I don't remember. I can eat it faster. It's hot, guys. It's got a legit mouth burn, guys. Have to go back and look at the timestamp, see how long it took me. I was just going to set a timer and I forgot. Sorry, guys. It's not a, really a challenge. I mean, it's a challenge for Keith who wanted me to try it. I could have ate it faster, but I can tell you my mouth is on fire. Legitimate mouth burn. Both my cheeks, my tongue hasn't hit my throat yet, but I'm feeling it creeping towards the back. Um... Feel it in my gut a little bit. Um, heat wise though, as far as like, I gotta explain the difference between heat and pain. Uh, my mouth's on fire, but I'm not dying. Heat level wise, probably a two. Um, yeah, maybe a two. It could be hotter, but we're gonna see what happens. I'm letting it ramp up. Like I said, I can feel it. Um, my digestive system. Um, tastes good. There's no extract in it. The chocolate tastes good. The white chocolate tastes really good. The flavor of the peppers in it's really good. Um, like I said, inside of my cheeks, my tongue, got a good burn on those. Uh, good burn. I like a good mouth burn. Um, even swish around, tincture a little bit, get that mouth burn. Uh, Joe from Heating Up, he likes to, he, he's like, it's like I like the throat burn. I like the mouth. I like, I like the way it feels when it burns. I don't know. Yeah, I got issues. We, you guys know that. Um, it's legit, Keith. I don't think everybody's going to eat that. Um, is it doable? Yeah. Could it be hotter? Probably. If you make it hotter, a lot less people will be able to do it. I want another opinion. My tolerance is really high. I like to eat hot stuff. You guys see me mow down the Moab and the Moab Gold. Uh, I've done the Crunchy Challenge. Um, the Landmine um, Peanut Butter Cup. I like hot sweet snacks like chocolate hot chocolate snacks um so um the heat's lo i'm losing it from my mouth it's it's down now it was it was hot now it's like almost not even there anymore um i don't really feel it in my throat a little bit um keith it's good though 
if you're in a really chasing the heat, you'll eat it. If you're not, you're going to take a couple bites and be like, what am I doing? So that might be the level you want, Keith. Um, let's see. Joe's got one. I think he's going to review it, heating up. If you guys haven't checked his channel, I'll go check it out. Um, Joe Hannigan, heating up, heat and up. He's going to, um, he's got one he's going to eat. Um, Keith's just a buddy of ours. He wanted us to try it. He's looking to make some cha uh, some challenges. Um, Keith's a great guy, uh, master pod grower. Can't wait uh, for pod season. He's got some really, some stuff that's popping. Uh, check out Andrew's Pepper Patch on Facebook um, and Fetch the Fire on YouTube. Uh, really great guy. Yeah, Keith, you're still a friend of mine. Um, but yeah, that's a hot one. That's definitely hotter than the Moab bar. I feel it more in my mouth. Um, so it's got more instant burn. That's from the, the powders in it. Um, and the dried peppers, obviously. Um, it tastes good though. Um, I would eat another one. I really would. I think I could eat two, but I don't think everybody can eat two. Um, I like it, Keith. Good job, brother. Um, Definitely doable. Like I said, I want to see the other reviews. I want to see if it's just me. Um, might be a little broken, guys. I don't always feel the heat like everyone else does. So, a little, might be a little bit broken. Um, Joe, he's a little broken. So, I know, I think, I think Keith sent him one to Maniacal Matt, too. You guys check out his page, the Maniacal Matt. Um, he tried the Moab Coab collab challenge yesterday it's a brownie that's big super hot it came up short i want to tell you guys there's no shame in not completing a challenge i know it hurts our pride and it's not great but and we want to just complete it but it's training if you don't push yourself you're not going to know how far to go and not only that if it was easy everyone would do it Straight up. It wouldn't be a challenge. So if you see one of us come up short like that, keep cheering us on. Give us the support we need. Because um, some of these things are not easy. That's hot. That thing I just ate, it's pretty hot. Not everyone's going to eat that. Um, the Crunchy Challenge, that thing was hot. Um, Tube of Terror, say no more. Go type in... Tube of Terra fails and watch how many people did not finish that challenge. It's not that they didn't try. It's not that they don't like hot stuff. It's a challenge and it's brutal. So cheer us on when we fail. Cheer us on when we succeed. Um, that's why we're here. That's what I do to everyone else. You know, I gave Matt a lot of love. I love the guy. He's great. He's got a great tolerance. Came up short. Not a big deal. It's all okay, man. You'll get them next time. So what? That's what happens. Um, for me, when I if I if I feel like I came up short, it's like the silencer when it lit me up. I had to I had to go back. Joe pushed me to do that. I had to I had to revisit it. Those peanuts, they were my nemesis. I went for it. I did it. Um, I believe Matt might revisit that one. If not, he's got something else in, in mind. But like I said, you guys just cheers on. Um, all right, I've been babbling way too long. Anyway, I haven't had nothing to drink, nothing to eat. You guys have been watching me the whole time. I'm good. It's hot, Keith. Egg of agony. Um, yeah. I want to see another review on that one. And as always, guys, thanks for the love and support. Hit the like button, subscribe button, uh, bell notification. And um, I love you, all you guys. And as always, stay spicy, pepper people.